Hey everybody and welcome back. This week we're going to show you how to propagate a pothos plant. So we have a big pothos plant hanging actually right over there. Huge, huge plant and it grows like crazy. It doesn't require a whole lot of sunlight or a whole lot of water. Super easy to take care of. And this is something we do in our spare time to get more pothos plant. So we propagate it and it will grow more. I'm going to show you how to propagate from a big mother plant. So it's supposed to be very easy. We're going to have to pot them like so. So in front of me here, I have three different styles of propagation that Lily did previously. This is about six weeks ago she did these. These here, we had almost no light at all. These had a medium amount of light, and these sat in the window with a ton of light. Just so I can show you the differences of how they grow. So as you can see, these here have huge, huge long roots on every single one. And these grew the best because they had the most access to light. Change their water like once a week, sometimes even two. These here in the middle, you see some of them have some good roots on them. Like this one's got a big long root. And these, these two are growing some. And then these here, no root growing. Like no roots at all. But they're still alive and healthy. They just don't prosper because they were in a, they had almost no light. These I did a couple weeks ago. I moved from water into dirt once they had a little bit of rootage going. And today I'm going to put them into a little bit of a bigger pot with some of these. All right, so what you'll need today is a pot, obviously, to put your plants in. Some dirt. I'm just going to use the same soil that I had from here. Basic potting soil. I'm going to actually just use the ones I have here. And probably some gloves and paper towels if you're doing this indoors. If you're outside, I wouldn't even... I don't even if you're outside, I don't even worry about it. Just clean up the mess afterwards. So if your pot doesn't have any drainage holes in the bottom of it, not a super big deal, but I like to have drainage holes. So what I have done is I have made just a little cardboard drainage piece. I just cut a piece of cardboard off the box that these propagation tubes came in, cut into a square, bent the corners, poked a couple of holes in the middle, and I'm just gonna pop it right in here. And so now I have drainage holes. All right, so first things first, I need to get my soil out. So I'm gonna pack my soil in here pretty lightly, just a little bottom layer so that there's something underneath. And then we're going to take our pothos plants and very gingerly just set them down in here. I'm taking the ones with the biggest roots because they're the healthier plants. They're more likely to grow. Because my goal is for this, for all of these leaves to end up growing outward and down this plant in a big cascading looking way. All right, now I'm gonna 
So now that they're all situated in there, I've packed a little bit more dirt on top. And I'm gonna put even a little more on top here just to kind of cement them in their spots without packing the dirt too tightly. I don't want them, I want water to be able to still flow through the soil all the way to the bottom. I don't want, I want to make sure that none of the roots are exposed to any of the air. I want them completely surrounded by soil, but not suffocated by soil. Alright, so now that our soil is all in here, we have everything packed nice and tightly, here we are. I'm going to put this in a windowsill where it has access to a really generous amount of sunlight. It's going to drink in all that sunlight, drink up all that water I put in there, and hopefully these will grow really quickly and just start sprouting new leaves and start growing over the sides. And now that I have these empty, I'm just going to cut new ones off of my big mother plant propagate them in these and do this over and over again. Probably put them in these next time. All right, now that's all for today. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.